Your thing goes up two. All right, now the main event, Hell in a Cell. Scott Hall defends his newly won WWE Championship against the former champion, Andre the Giant. This should be good. It's a Hell in a Cell match. The following contest is a Hell in a Cell match. And is for the WWE Championship. He is the first true giant in the history of the WWE. The eighth wonder of the world. That's an understatement, Saxton. Andre makes grown men look like children. When you talk about unmatched supremacy, you are looking at one of the building blocks of WWE in Andre the Giant. It doesn't matter what generation, what era, there is only one Andre the Giant. You know who he is, but you don't know why he's here. Well, he's probably here for a fight. No finesse, just pure brawling ability. Scott Hall comes to fight and to hurt his opponent. Hey guys, I've been practicing this. Let me know what you think. <clears throat> Hey, yo. That was embarrassing. Don't ever do it again. I thought it was pretty good myself. Should be a good match. It was a good match when they met last week. And introducing the champion from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 280 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Scott Hall! That's what it's all about, the WWE Championship. The challenger wanted this opportunity, now he's got it. Well, it's always fun to go to the zoo until you fall to the lion's den. The challenger had better sharpen his teeth. The challenger is looking to get his title back. And gentlemen, this is what it's all about. The WWE Championship on the line in what should be a war to the finish. This is what superstars grind and scrape and sacrifice for. The chance to be here in this position with this opportunity. One of these men is about to fulfill a lifelong dream. What's he open to find down there? And now with him going for the table, we're just in straight up appetite for destruction territory here. Andre the Giant has a lot of experience in these Hell in a Cell matches. He beat Brock Lesnar and last month at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view, I think it was, he beat The Rock 
in a Hell in a Cell match that was absolutely fantastic. Andre went off the top, I think, four different times. Three for sure. The Rock went off twice. That was an outstanding match, and Andre held on to the title. So he has the experience in these types of matches. He knows what he's doing. Oh! God, it looked like it broke his arm. I don't think he knows what his plan is. first into the table Andre has just come out and pummeled Scott Hall. Hall has had no offense whatsoever. There's some. It was short-lived, though. Oh. I don't either. It's not a tables match. Oh, if he turns. Oh, thought he was going to turn around and slam him face first into the table. Choke slam on the giant. No. I don't even know how you got two on that. Well, because he's not even close to being done. Powerless position to be in right now. Oh! Just drops him right out of the ring. Giant answers 
script on him there. He steps foot in the ring again. Scott Hall, right where he wants it, because we're about to see the... Oh. Ho, 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 ho. On the giant, and he could defend the title. No, Andre just kicks out. Oh, there's his move. He can regain the title right here. Here is your winner and the new WWE Champion, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. A victory worthy of a new champion. All right, it's a four-star match. Amazing. The rivalry grows up to level three. So those two probably will be able to extend it, their feud, up to the next pay-per-view as well.